Hello Unlimited friends, it's Zara back again with another question about the application of Law of Attraction in practical ways to our lives. The question today is coming from Kika Mirza and she posted a comment under one of my videos. She says, would you please tell us about the death of our pets? I had to euthanize my 11 year old sick cat last month. He was my everything. I feel so much guilt for this and also for some mistakes I've done during his treatment. I didn't go to our regular vet, but a new one after his kidney damage diagnosis. I gave him a supplement in a wrong way that affected his lungs. I can't forgive myself for my mistakes and I feel like I don't want to live anymore. Oh my goodness. Keka. Kika. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing your name right. I think I'm messing it up completely. Sweetheart, first of all, I'm putting my arms around you because I have two cats. I've always had cats. I have currently got two cats and I also have a dog and I've always had dogs as well. I know how it feels. I definitely know how it feels and I definitely know how it feels when you think that you had a hand in it. You see, it's one thing to lose a pet or any loved one and a completely different matter when you think that you had a role in it, that you instigated it. And here's what I want you to know, um, Kika, is that as far as Abraham has taught us, all death is suicide, whether it is the death of an animal or the death of a human. It is always suicide. What that means is that the human and the animal makes a decision that they are done with this life experience and they want to make their transition. That decision happens from the soul part of our being. So I'm not sure how familiar you are with the teachings of Abraham, but as Abraham teaches us, there are two parts to our existence. When we are physically focused, there's the soul and there's the mind. The mind is physically focused, the soul is non-physical. And it's the soul part of us that makes that decision to transition. And because that soul part is us, then all death is suicide. There are so many things that I want to say to you and there the messages are coming to me really quickly, really fast at this point in time. The first thing, the, the first message that is coming to me from your pet is that they're not unhappy. They're having a very good time. He's romping around and enjoying himself. And he wants you to know that death is not a sad thing. That death is not a horrible thing. That he's really happy. That's the first thing. And, and so don't feel sorry. It's like somebody wants to go to a party and you make it possible for them to go to the party. They're not upset with you. They're thankful to you. And so that's what he wants you to know. He's happy. The second thing, and I'm getting goosebumps all over. The second thing he wants you to know is that he's coming back. Because... A soul that leaves doesn't mean that it's gone forever. He's coming back. And the minute you open your heart to love again, and the minute you start looking, he will find you. You will go and look at pictures of kittens, or you'll go and visit kittens and you will spot him you will know that one you will say is mine 
because you will know him as soon as you see him. He will make himself known to you. That's the second thing. The third thing that he wants you to know is that you are not responsible for his transition. He wants you to know that everything that happened happened because of his asking, his powerful asking to make his transition. Why did he make his transition? There are a couple of reasons. The most powerful reason for him making his transition is because he wanted you, he wanted to give you a message that you would only be able to understand by his making his transition. Not a lesson. As Abraham says, we are not here to learn lessons. So there's no lesson to be learned here, but there is a message here for you. The message that he has for you is that you take life too seriously. You're too serious and you're not having as much fun in life as you can have. And he wants you to have fun. And he wants you to not tie your ability to enjoy life to anyone else. No one else outside of you should be the center of your attention. The, the next thing that he wants you to know is that you had made his life too easy. He was too comfortable. There was no contrast going on in his life, not enough contrast going on in his life. And so it was time for him to transition. He was absorbing, he was feeling because he was empathic. Your cat was an empath and your cat could feel every feeling that you were feeling and, and your cat could feel that you were not happy. And your cat, by leaving early, is sending you a message and that message is stop it stop taking things so seriously things that people say or do it's not your work to take them so seriously the message is more in his sickness than his transition because what he's trying to tell you is that the level of anxiety that you have in your life you need to let it go. Let it go because it will start showing up in so many ways in your life. And so that's it. There are no more messages coming. That is it. That is, that is all of it. So Kika, I hope that, I hope that these messages from your cat help you to find your vibrational emotional stability not just to get over the transition of your pet but also so that you can give up all worry and anxiety and start living life and having fun that's it that's all I have for you today. I hope that you find peace within. And if you have any more questions, be sure to send me an email through my website, zimahoon.com, or drop a comment below and I will most certainly attend to it. All right, my dear, take care. And to everyone else, I hope that you found this material useful. Bye for now.